and we're back with another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. This is Warrior. I'm level 74 right now. I'm in the squad arena, and I'm going to show you what my squad looks like and how it works. Uh, the team that I'm using, let's go ahead and go in there, is um, pretty cool. You can see right now I'm ranked number one. I've actually been ranked number one for... Um, about six weeks now and I haven't been dethroned uh, in the last six weeks um, I'm on a relatively new server but let's go ahead and look at ranks um, you'll see something obviously I'm a little bit higher than everybody else on this um, on the server everyone's between uh, 67 and 70 and I'm at 74 um, quite a few awesome teams on here but you can see I'm running an Akbar lead um, Akbar is undervalued by a lot of people. If you look at the metadata, you'll see that he's used, he's in the top 10 for, for leaders, um, but still very lightly used. Most everyone uses Obi-Wan, um, which is a huge mistake early in the game, um, and this is why. Obi-Wan is horrible as a player until he's maxed out. When he's maxed out, his evasion does kick in, but his evasion's essentially broken until his character is maxed out. He's, he's got to be much higher than these gentlemen have theirs. I mean, if we come back and look, you can see, I mean, his Obi-Wan's um, only a level gear 8 with 6 stars. And, and I can walk through that team. I'll show you that here in just a second. So, you know, somebody else here, we got another one from Team Skunk. Uh, one of their teams, and obviously they're running a very similar team to mine, Akbar lead Leia. Um, the Akbar Leia combo is absolutely insane. Um, it is a little bit inconsistent, uh, which is why I use Ray, and he's using Ray here as well. So I love this team that he's got. Um, but pretty much everyone else you can see in the top 10 on this server um, is trying to run Old Ben. A couple of people are running a couple of different, but quite a few Old Ben's in here. And what's happening is they're seeing these videos on YouTube and that Old Ben's awesome, and they don't realize that Old Ben is just not enough um, in the early to mid game, and they've got to spend a little bit more time, energy, and effort in their characters. Again, let's look at my team, and I'll tell you why I've got what I've got. So I've got Akbar lead, and of course the reason why I have Akbar lead is for Tactical Genius. Um, Tactical Genius is pretty amazing. It gives any one of my players an extra turn if they use anything other than their basic attack. And they gain life as well. Um, well, one of my squishiest characters is Ray. What a lot of people don't know about Akbar is if she does her double or triple attack, um, one of her special abilities, those special abilities, leverage or flurry of blows, actually does not count as a basic attack so she gets to go again she trips that special ability uh within admiral akbar and so i can do a double hit and then i can immediately after do a triple hit which means i get five hits from my ray um, my leia is um pretty amazing as well um obviously i've only been in the game six weeks but um, you can see I've got her against all odds maxed out, and then the other two at 7. Obviously, I cannot go any higher because I'm a level 74. And I, I cannot even get Omega Shards until I'm at level 76, and I don't have any anyway. Um, but Rebel Tactics is pretty amazing as well, and I can't wait to get the cooldown on this um, because she stealths for three turns. So obviously, that means she'll pretty much live in the world of stealth. I do have her at gear 9. Now, I want you to look at her stats really quickly. She's only she's a seven star, which is important. Um, but she is not as squishy as Ray. Look at this. She's got between protection and health about twenty four, twenty five, about twenty five thousand. And but look at her speed. I've been able to boost her speed fifty points. Got her at two hundred and eight. Now that's not her true speed. That is her current speed by herself. There's two hundred and eight now. If you guys know anything about Akbar, and I'm sure you guys watching this do. Let me go ahead and go back to Akbar and his Rebel Coordination. Rebel allies have 25% speed and 10 tenacity. Tenacity is important because people are always trying to do debuffs, and of course any tenacity is good tenacity, but the speed's critical. Plus 25 on Leia ends up putting her, I think, at like 227 speed. Now I am a six weekend character or player on my on my side, and so this is why I'm rolling number one. People cannot um, just cannot hold with Leia shooting as fast as she does. There's times where she gets two turns 
before anybody even gets their first turn. And, of course, I have Ray hitting a couple of times in that first turn. Um, I have put down over 50,000 damage uh, before the other turn even, or before the other team even gets a shot. Um, so this is, when it works, it works phenomenally well. Uh, of course, the uh, I auto-battle a lot, and the reason why is because um, the, I'm just overpowered for my server. Um, but then I'm also running uh, with the Ad Admiral Akbar and the Leia combo and the Ray. That's kind of a given. I'm running GS. A lot of people know to farm Genosian Soldier. And the reason for this is because he's calling in an assist. Um, you know, every third turn uh, goes down to every other turn when you can get it um, omega -ed. And then, of course, he just does high damage. Plus, he gears fast. I mean, he's a gear 9 and he was the first character... I was able to get to gear nine, so that's pretty good. Um, and you can see that he's pretty high in stats. Um, I did pair him for synergy with Sunfac. Um, and the reason why I did this as my tank is because you're gonna have a tank on your team, or hopefully you're gonna have a tank on your team. And he has phenomenal synergy with Genosian Soldier. And I have not seen too many people run in this combination. But of course, um, Browbeat, is amazing what it does is basically does basic damage however it takes their positive status effects away every single time <laughs> and he recovers health when he removes your positive status effect that's his basic his basic debuffs you basically by taking away your your your, your positive buffs and he gains life on that the other gaining life is spiteful strike you can do this once every four turns and he deals damage to them and he recovers 25% of his math, uh, max health if they have any negative status effects. So as we're creating debuffs on the other team, he's gaining life as well. So he gains life on his basic, and he has a special to gain life. Of course, he has superiority, which is a counter. Anytime you can get a tank that counters, such as fives, you want it. Because those are extra free attacks. Now, this is the other reason why his counter is amazing. Anytime he deals damage outside of his turn... He does 15% more damage and inflicts critical chance down for two turns. Now that's important because you don't want them doing critical damage to you. And you want the chance of their critical damage to go down. 15% uh, more damage is also great because he's being called out of turn often by GS. I mean, he's going to be one out of four characters. He's got a 25% chance likelihood he's going to be pulled out of turn by the uh, by, by Genosian Soldier. And the other thing is Genosian Soldier and him both deal more damage when he's the one that gets called by GS for the secondary hit. So this is super important. Subjugate is also very cool. Obviously, I can't put this up any higher, but this is his taunt. It's pretty standard for any tank to have a taunt for two turns. A few tanks do one turn, and uh, I think there's a couple that do three. Uh, but two's pretty standard, so I'm not... Um, I wish it was three turns, but two's enough. But it inflicts offense down on a target. Now, you can choose any target, inflict offense down on them, and you get a 55% chance to remove turn meter. So if they have a ray, you aim at the ray, it offense down, turns their offense down on their ray, and which obviously you want, and it removes 40% turn meter. Um, if they have a Leia, let's get rid of some of that turn meter because you don't want um, her tearing through your team. So... It's super important that you have a, a tank that can taunt. Obviously, a lot of people roll with ro Royal Guard. There's no taunt necessary. It's not even an ability you have to select. It's just auto-featured, which is very cool. Um, however, like I said, Royal Guard does not have the synergy with Genosian Soldier that Sunfact does. Sunfact make, does extra damage when he's called outside of his turn, which includes his counters. And, of course, Genosian Soldier calls people out of turn quite a bit with his swarm. Again, if the assist is a Genosian character, you provide a bonus attack to both characters. So anyway, that's why I built this team. Uh, Ray was a given. I think everybody knows you've got to have Ray on your team. And the Admiral Akbar Leia combo was just the, the, the combination that I went with right off the bat. And of course, I wanted more synergy. So I went with Genosian Soldier, who's easy to farm and easy to gear with Sunfac, who is bad to gear and hard almost impossible to farm because he is um not really farmable in the normal positions um something though that is a strategy you guys should think about everyone cares about how easy it is to farm somebody or how easy it is to gear somebody i like to pair someone who's easy 
to gear up with someone who's hard to gear up that have synergy together and put them on a team. For example, Genosian Soldier, ridiculously easy to gear up. Sunfac, super hard. So you put them together, it averages out to about 500 uh, purples between the two of them combined. I mean, it's like 280 for one and 700 for the other. Put them together and it ends up being about 500 purples that you're going to use for each of them on average. So if you're gonna use a very expensively geared character, make sure you counter that with a very cheap character to gear to make it easier for you because you're gonna spend a lot of time gearing these characters up. Now, you can see, obviously, um, number one spot. I got a lot of teams here to choose from. Um, I'll just pick the this one. This one's got two tanks and also has Old Ben, and it has two gentlemen who call in and assist, of course, Qui-Gon and, and um, Genosian Soldier. This should be, in theory, a horrible team to go against because it has Old Ben for evasion, it has both tanks, one that auto-taunts, and then one that's gonna taunt on you uh, for three turns, um, and messes with turn meter, which, of course, is no fun. And then, of course, you've got Qui-Gon Wygon coming in for double hits and Genosian coming in for double hits. So you've got to work on the tanks, get rid of them first if you can, um, and then go into your double hitters. So I'll just show you a battle with this team and see um, how well we do. So there he is. He's ranked number three. Um, all his characters are level 68 except for um, his old Ben and his Royal Guard. His Royal Guard is a four star. Um, so he definitely needs to start farming that, and there are areas in the game to farm uh, Royal Guard, even relatively early in the game, so you've got to get on that if that's uh, important to you. But let's go ahead and battle, and there's my team. Oh, and he's already engaged in a battle. Now, I never <laughs> have people fight me, and so, unfortunately, I don't know what's going on with them, but... Um, let me pick another team. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and do this team. Uh, by the way, I chose Reswark, I think his name is. He's number two. So this is number two on my server. He's got over 27,000 power. And let's go ahead and see how this turns out. Again, the computer's going to give you this random generated numbers, obviously. It's all statistically based, so... Your hits aren't going to always be the same. Um, sometimes Ray hits for a lot. Sometimes she doesn't hit for as much as you'd like her to. Um, but they have Ray over here, which is smart. Now, a lot of people say they don't know how to play Leia. Leia's got a 227 speed, so I'm going to go ahead and stealth her. you got to get her safe. It automatically triggers Admiral Akbar to shoot. As you can see, Admiral Akbar has already shot and taken off half the protection. I'm going to do a double hit because it almost killed her, and I'm going to go ahead and do Tactical Advantage. That triggers Leia to shoot three times, and of course it unfortunately triggered Royal Guard because I didn't get her all the way down. Now I'm going to go ahead and do a double shot, kill him while he evaded that first shot, and I'm going to come back here. I'm going to go ahead and use my taunt, because for the rest of the game I want Sunfac to absorb all of, my, all of the hits. I'm going to go ahead and take her out with Leia. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to GS uh, or Qui Gon Jinn. Qui Gon Jinn is probably the better of the two between him and Sunfac. Or, sorry, between him and Genosian Soldier. It's like super late. That's why I'm having a hard time. And we're going to go ahead and do a double shot. As you can see, the double shot was pretty successful. Now I'm going to pause this. I'm going to come over here to Genosian Soldier and I'm going to do my triple hit. This should kill him. Yep, took him out. And we'll come back here to Qui Gon. And I'm going to go ahead and do a single shot. And this should finish it up with a triple. Well, didn't need a triple. Now watch. She has Luminari is the leader. And she has two positive effects. A healing effect over time and um, another effect. Let's see really quick what this is. Um, oh, yeah. Plus 50 offense. I need that. Watch when he shoots his basic attack. They're gone. And it did damage. That's just his basic. So when you're afraid of a team that's you know, buffing themselves, such as a, a Yoda team or, um, well, any team really that has those. And there we go. And that was taking my time. Now, if I would have auto-battled this, it would have taken about 25 seconds. But this team is an absolute beast. I started on it immediately. I did my research before I started playing the game, built this team, and I went for it. Now, you're going to ask, did you spend some money? Of course, I've invested a little bit of money in this game. I love this game. 
Um, not everybody has the money to invest. If you're going to go free, you can still build this team. The way you would build this team for yourself is you would, let me go ahead and click on it, is you'd go ahead and farm Admiral Akbar and Leia. They're in the same place, so unfortunately, you got to kind of decide which one you're going first. Genosian Soldier is probably the easiest to farm. It's the very first Cantina battle. And Ray, while she's more difficult to farm, if you're in a decent team, you're going to be able to get five of her at a time over here in your guilds, in the guild store. You'll be able to get her. Now, she's not in here right now, but... This is where she'd be found, and this is where I ground her out. Now, you can also find her when you get a little higher in the game. You're going to be able to... Let's see, here's Ray. You're going to be able to, to grind her out in a couple of places. Now, these are 2A, which is relatively easy to get to. 5D hard, which will take you, if you're working your butt off, about a month. And then 7B hard, which might take you a little bit more time. But she is farmable in multiple locations so that would be your number one priority um, and then I would say that since Admiral Akbar is your lead um, he's really important but he's not as important as Leia um, I would I would farm Leia first and this is why Leia is good even without Admiral Akbar and she's in the squad arena so she's or the squad arena store or the arena store um, so there's Admiral Akbar and you need him but Princess Leia is up here on the top right. You got to get her, and you got to get her maxed out. So you need to be buying these um, out right off the bat, and you need to max her out. When she's maxed out on any team, she's going to do great. Again, she's a little inconsistent with damage, but um, with Admiral Akbar, he really brings a level of consistency with her. You know, a lot of people complain that sometimes she only shoots once, sometimes she shoots twice, sometimes she shoots three times. Well, that's her ability, but. Um, she shoots much more uh, two or three times and does much more damage and does critical chance up much more with Akbar because he gives her so many more chances to go. And because of that, it triggers her abilities that much more. You need to give her abilities a percentage, you know, more percentages of going to trigger. Um, again, this, this one team over here to the left is running a similar team as the one I am. Now, he's using... Stormtrooper Han and Rex. I, Rex is a really hard character to get, so for most people they can't get him. Um, this gentleman has spent some money and bought him. Uh, Stormtrooper Han you can farm. He'd be somebody you could replace my Sunfac with on my team, since you might not be able to get Sunfac. Or Royal Guard. A lot of people run Royal Guard. You can see the top two teams below me are running Royal Guard. Um, uh, Royal Guard is a little squishy right now on my server just because these gentlemen don't have their royal guards leveled up don't have them um seven starred and so they've got to spend a little bit more time farming i i farm every single day i go through i literally click on characters and then i just work through the top row they're max work through the next row they're maxed go to the next row and i work baris is the next one i'm going to 100 i'm farming her um yoda i'll get at the next event and then Jedi Consular. For some reason, and I hate Jedi Consular, but I need him for Galactic War, he is one of the hardest to get shards for. I've been farming him. The very first character I started farming was Jedi Consular, and I'm still not to a 7-star, and so I don't know why. Obviously, Tebow's maxed. I'm trying to gear him up, but he's a little bit harder to gear. And then, of course, I'm starting to work on Old Daka. Old Daka is a surprising stunner. When you have her maxed out, she tends to stun a lot. Um, and then I've got a few others that I'm just starting to work on gearing and to bring up. But you, when you first start off, and I'm only six weeks in, you just there's just too many characters. Uh, you just have so many tunes that you want to play with and that you want to create. You've got to come up with a strategy. Um, again, here's my Obi-Wan. My Obi-Wan's way stronger than anybody else's on my server. I've already got him gear 9. There's not another Obi-Wan at gear 9 on my side, or on my server. I have some decent mods in there, and I've got his abilities up uh, somewhat. Um, but I don't use him. He just does not help me keep the number one spot. I've played it, tried around a couple of times. It's just not, it's almost like he's broken. Um, and, and his evasion just does not work. So you've got to really choose a different strategy for the early to mid game. Um, I've got a Royal Guard here too. I, I'm grinding him out. I got him to seven stars, but you see his abilities aren't that high. I just, I, I really chose Sunfac. I happened to get him 
um, seven start early on, and my son fact even at gear eight because um, he's extremely difficult to gear has forty five thousand between health and protection. And while I, I've seen other teams with people that are at level 80 have an, a Royal Guard at 80,000 between health and protection, um, six weeks in to have some a, a, a tank that taunts, um, that self-heals, and he self-heals both his basic and one of his special abilities, he heals himself, um, and he has 45,000 between protection and health. So this is just causing a nightmare for the people on my server. And I think they've given up. Um, on a rare occasion, I'll get somebody attack me, and they lose, and then they request an ally, an ally request. So um, that's the only reason why I know that they have fought me. But anyway, I hope you like this video. I hope this helps you with building your team. And if you have any questions, you can like uh, this video and you can leave a comment down below and I'll be happy to make more I would like to make some videos on specific characters if you have any characters that you specifically would like to know more about Obviously, I want to do character reviews on everyone. However, I have these characters at 8 or above and so if you at gear 8 or above and 7 stars so if any of these characters are characters that you're unsure about or want to know how they work just let me know leave a comment below and I will make a video specifically for that character and let you know what I think thank you